Rumbelow's Dance by John Yeoman and Quentin Blake. Rumbelow woke up early one fine morning to find the sunlight streaming into his bedroom. Today was a special day. He was going to visit his old grandparents. After breakfast, his mother packed his bag with eggs, cheese and juicy apples and pears from the garden. Your grandparents are so looking forward to seeing you, she said. They hardly ever have any visitors. I will cheer them up, said Rumbelow. It's going to be a hot day, Rumbelow, his mother said, and she saw him off. I'm afraid it will be a tiring walk. Now, you know the way, don't you? Along the lane, through the meadow, over the stile, round the orchard, across the stepping stones, behind the watermill, up the hill, and down the alley and into the market square, said Rumbelow. And he kissed his mother goodbye and set out with a spring in his step. His mother was right. It was a hot day. But Rumbelow felt so happy that as he turned down the leafy lane, he began to dance. He was still dancing when he met a sad-faced farmer with a sad-faced pig. How am I going to drive my lazy pig all the way to a market on a hot day like this, said the farmer. Dance, dance, dance to the market. Come on, said Rumbelow, join in the jig. Prancing along, singing a song, what better partners than farmer and pig? So the farmer and his lazy pig danced along the lane with Rumbelow. They were still dancing when they came to the meadow. There they met a little flower girl with her basket full of bunches of brightly coloured flowers. How am I going to walk fast enough all the way to market to stop my flowers wilting on a hot day like this, said the flower girl. Dance, dance, dance to the market, quickly, said Rumbelow. Don't mind the heat, skipping along, singing a song, waving your blooms till the air smells all sweet. So the flower girl with her basket full of brightly coloured flowers and the farmer with his lazy pig danced through the meadow with Rumbelow. They were still dancing when they reached a stile. Sitting on the stile was a tinker with an enormous pack on his back and lots of pots and pans hanging from all over him. How am I going to carry these pots and pans all the way to market on a hot day like this? said the tinker. Dance, dance, dance to the market. Hurry, said Rumbelow, straighten your back, leaping along, singing a song, saucepans and kettles all over your pack. So the tinker with his pots and pans, and the flower girl with her basket of full of brightly coloured flowers, and the farmer with his lazy pig, danced over the stile with Rumbelow. They were still dancing when they passed beside the orchard. There they saw a woman with two great carpet bags of knitted socks and stockings. How am I going to heave these two great bags of knitting all the way to market on a hot day like this, said the stocking woman. Dance, dance, dance to the market. Cheer up, said Rumbelow. Smile with the day, tripping along, singing a song, waving your stockings and socks on the way. So the stocking woman with her bags of knitting and the tinker with his pots and pans and the flower girl with her basket of full of brightly coloured flowers and the farmer with his lazy pig danced round the orchard with Rumbelow. They were still dancing when they reached the stepping stones in the river. There they met an organ grinder and his cheeky monkey. How am I going to lead this badly behaved monkey all the way to market on a hot day like this? said the organ grinder. Dance, dance, dance to the market. Buck up, said Rumbelow, welcome the sun, bounding along, singing a song, even the monkey can join in the fun. So the organ grinder with his cheeky monkey and the stocking woman with her bags of knitting and the tinker with his pots and pans and the flower girl with her basket full of brightly coloured flowers and the farmer with his lazy pig danced across the stepping stones with Rumbelow. They were still dancing when they reached the watermill. There they met a little old man with a wooden barrel of eels on his head. How am I going to balance this barrel all the way to market on a hot day like this, said the eel catcher. Dance, dance, dance to the market. Nimbly, said Rumbelow, don't look so dead. Gliding along, singing a song, hundreds of wriggly eels on your head. So the eel catcher with his wooden barrel and the organ grinder with his cheeky monkey and the stocking woman with her bags of knitting and the tinker with his pots and pans and the flower girl with her basket of full of brightly coloured flowers and the farmer with his lazy pig danced behind the watermill with Rumbelow. 
They were still dancing when they reached the hill. There they met a tall lady with a sack full of wooden pegs and washing lines. How am I going to drag this huge sack all the way to market on a hot day like this? said the clothes peg lady. Dance, dance, dance to the market. Now then, said Rumbelo, trust to your legs, twisting along, singing a song, weaving around us with clothesline and pegs. So the peg lady with her huge sack and the eel catcher with his wooden barrel and the organ grinder with his cheeky monkey and the stocking woman with her bags of knitting and the tinker with his pots and pans and the flower girl with her basket full of brightly coloured flowers and the farmer with his lazy pig danced up the hill with Rumbelow. They were still dancing when they reached the alley that led into the market square. There they met a boy driving a flock of geese and turkeys ahead of him with a stick. How am I going to make my geese and turkeys squeeze down the alley and into the market on a hot day like this? said the poultry boy. Dance, dance, dance to the market. Push on, said Rumbelow. Think what's in store, trotting along, singing a song with gobbling and hissing and feathers galore. So the poultry boy and the peg lady with her huge sack and the eel catcher with his wooden barrel and the organ grinder with his cheeky monkey and the stocking woman with her bags of knitting and the tinker with his pots and pans and the flower girl with her basket full of brightly coloured flowers and the farmer with his lazy pig danced along the alley with Rumbelow until they came into the market square. All this while, Rumbelow's grandparents were waiting for him eagerly in their little house on the market square. He's sure to be tired and hungry after such a long, hot journey, said his grandmother. I do hope he's hungry enough to eat all the cakes I've baked for him. I do hope he hasn't been lonely on his journey, said his grandfather. That's funny, said Rumbelow's grandmother. Do you hear a strange noise, a sort of grunting and panting, said his grandfather, and clanking and clicking and Chattering and slithering and gobbling and hissing, they both said together in amazement. At that moment, Rumbelow popped his head round the door. Hello, grandmother. Hello, grandfather, he said. Do you mind if I bring some friends? Before Rumbelow's grandparents could reply, all of Rumbelow's new friends tumbled into the room. There were so many of them that they nearly filled it. You must be tired after your journey, said Rumbelow's grandfather, greeting the guests. Do have some tea and cakes, said his grandmother. There's more than enough for everybody. And so they all tucked into a most delicious tea with homemade cakes and 17 different kinds of sandwiches. Perhaps we should entertain our guests, Rumbelow, said his grandmother. I know, said his grandfather. Let's do our dance. With that, the old couple began a beautiful old dance which went to a tune very like Rumbelow's, only much more dignified. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, rumble Slowly, sedately, we sway and we turn, drifting along, singing a song. Pray won't you join us, it's easy to learn. Rumbelow and the others felt rested and well fed now, and they didn't need much encouragement to join in. Soon Rumbelow and the poultry boy and the peg lady and the organ grinder and the stocking woman and the tinker and the flower girl and the farmer and all the animals were waltzing round the room. As they came to the end of their dance they sang one, two, three, one, two, three. Thanks to you, Rumbelow. Everyone's had such a wonderful day. We'll finish our song and then get along, leaving a gift as we go on our way. And they all gave a small present to Rumbelow's grandparents as they said goodbye. Then it was time for Rumbelow to go. His grandparents thanked him for all the good things he'd brought. Come again soon, said his grandmother. Have a good journey back, said his grandfather. So with a kiss and a wave, Rumbelow danced off all the way home. <laughs>